Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. So we're gonna be using this Ulta New stamp set, the Lotus, uh, for our coloring. Um, what I decided to do was take the large outline flower, the smaller size outline, and the uh, Lotus, like the, I guess it would be like the, um, you know, the pods, like the little leaves that float on top of the water. I decided to get that, do those three and I'm just going to ink them up using the jet black ink from Altenew. It's the cube that came into the collection that I got the other day. And I'm just going to ink it up using my Misty so that I can make sure I get a nice crisp line. And if I don't, it gives me the opportunity to stamp it a second time. And I just had to move my bigger uh, magnet down only because I wanted to make sure it wasn't blocking the larger stamp up at the top. I wanted to make sure I got a nice, you know, clean line. And then I moved the other flower because I wanted two of the leaves. And I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it real quick. And what I'm still learning with these uh, ink pads is that the black one is, it works more like a pigment ink because it stays wet a little bit longer. So I wind up having some smudging. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep going, just keep coloring. And I knew I wanted to use my zig markers. So I'm zooming in and I'm putting down my darker color. And as I'm pulling it out, I noticed that the black line is bleeding. And I've never had that happen before. But I'm thinking it's because I just stamped it and it was maybe still a little wet. So what I decided to do off camera was I heated up the black lines with clear embossing powder and moved on. So that way I can color it in and not have to worry about it. Well in doing so, because I didn't pre-treat it, there are some spots that are going to look a little splotchy. And you'll see that more in the end up close um, in the photos. Okay, so just I apologize for that. I didn't want to scrap ev everything that we have done. And I think that the coloring still turned out, you know, pretty decent. And I was happy with, you know, what I ended up with. So I'm just going to let it play and keep coloring. And then we'll come back when it's time to finish everything out. Okay, so now that everything is colored, and you can kind of see on the bigger one there some of the problems I was telling you about before, um, but the best part is I got the bundle, so it came with matching dies, and I have thankfully been pretty lucky with lining these up. Um, sometimes you can get a little off 
um, when you do these outline ones because like some sections it looks like it lines up right perfect and then you go to cut and it's super close on one end and you got a larger white border on the other if it bothers you um, you know you can always trim it out by hand with scissors and call it a day because um, these images wouldn't be that bad to fussy cut so we're just gonna take the cuddle bug I'm sorry I'm zoomed in and I didn't even think to zoom out some but I just wanted to run it through real quick just to get those few pieces cut out and of course I'm going to cut out the other leaf or um, what is that called lily pod lily pad oh my gosh this always happens when you're doing voiceovers I'm gonna tell you if you guys ever start doing your own videos words that you use normally or have used before will escape your mind while doing the voiceover so we're just going to continue on so once I got everything cut out I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do the large card base or um, and use both flowers or if I wanted to do just one of the flowers with the leaves I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do and I really wasn't sure how it was all going to work out in the end. So I just grabbed my stamp on the jig and I wanted to put one of the label, uh, yeah, label love Spanish uh, sentiments on the card. And I wasn't sure if I was going to put it at the bottom, at the top, but I knew I wasn't going to use the Misty, so I wanted to use my stamp on the jig so that if necessary I could stamp it more than once and have a nice crisp image and when I did the third stamp image on that it messed up and you couldn't see any of the words it like over colored it so here I'm trying to do it one more time and it messed up as well so I said forget it <laughs> I cut I got a smaller piece and I attached the sentiment, I stamped it on a separate piece and just cut it out. And then I attached it to this piece here and glued down the uh, leaves. And I'm just going to put some foam pop-ups on the flower so that it adds a little dimension. And then I grabbed the Wink of Stella so that I could put a little bit of shimmer all over the flower. And that is it. And so now I have this piece ready to go. If I want to send out a card or, you know, just send a little note, um, it's already prepared and I just have to add it to a card base. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, as you take a look at the closer image here, you can see some of the um, glossing and embossing powder because it resists the markers from the uh, zig markers that I use to color okay now at the very end I'm going to have the videos linked to the previous coloring Sunday videos and if you click on my picture you can subscribe so that way you can see all the next videos that we have coming up thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great and blessed Sunday